I was born in Soweto and I was drawn to music from quite a young age. I used to sleep under my father's radio. I was fascinated. I would lie under the thing and listen to my dad's records. Benny Goodman, Louis Armstrong, you know, Duke Ellington, Johnny Hodges, all that stuff. And then some local music, of course, Miriam Makeba, Hugh Masekela and them, you know, and many other. And then I'd go to church with my aunt, my mom's younger sister. Uh, this was in the 50s. I, I was born 1954. I think the love of wind instruments started in the Salvation Army. My first instrument naturally became a penny whistle at that time. Uh, from penny whistle, I started playing the bugle in the Boy Scouts in the, in the higher primary. And then I moved on to trumpet uh, when I was in high school. I did that for about two years before my parents said, this music is disturbing your studies. <laughs> We're shipping you to boarding school. <laughs> so they took me to a boarding school, Oshange High School in, in Durban. And the principal and his deputy, they were musicians. We had four choirs at school. So there's a healthy music tradition uh, from choral music to what we call jazz or jits. You know, it was like Marabi jazz style, you know. Uh, I was still playing trumpet then until I heard that my uncle, in fact, he told me that he had a tenor sax, which was what I always wanted to play. Uncle Monde Ashe. So I went to him, he taught me the C major scale and the G major scale. I think that was 1972. Then 1973, September, I was home for, for a long weekend. And uh, he realized that this guy is madly in love with this instrument, he said. He had left it for his younger brother, who was not keen on playing. So he says, well, you can have it because, you know, I can see you really love it. And the rest is history from there, you know.
I met uh, Sanele Parati in Durban. I was doing a gig, a couple of gigs in Durban, and I worked with him. Spelele, I had worked with him uh, different. I think we first time we worked with you and Tandy and Ameshi, remember it at, um, at the Orbit. That's the first time I played with Pelé. Yes. I think the next time I had a gig with him, uh, we're doing something at Kai FM. And then like, oh, it's different from that time. He had grown by then. And then we've done some big band, small little big band, you know. Uh, it's very sensitive, you know. And then uh, Benjamin I've always admired him from a distance. I'd never worked with him. It's the first time. Such a great player and humble soul. It's reflected in his playing, the passion, uh, the fire in the belly, as it were, you know. And uh, I was like drawn to that mix with Sanele. What a player. <laughs> what a player, man. And uh, uh, he's got great chops, musicality. You know, and uh, the passion really comes out in his playing as well, you know. So they, they, they pushed me today. <laughs> they really pushed me hard, you know. Yeah. I was sweaty <laughs> to keep up with them, you know. <laughs> you know and that's why I feel like I think I need to record with this core group, you know. And then we can add other stuff on top. But I just love their musicality which is of a very high standard and yeah. big, big up to them, you know.
we come from a long line of great musicians. We are just part of a cogwheel of an ongoing tradition. So the groundwork had been laid by Wilson Silji, Peter Rezant, and then there was Kipi, then there was Nick Moyake, then there was Dudu Pugwana. You know, just talking saxophone tradition, you know. There was Bani Rachabani, there was Umankunku, there's uh, Morris Goldberg, Harold Chafter. Guys who, who embraced the African-American art form and were able to adapt it to even our own music. Then there was Chris McGregor, there's Louis Moholo, there was Makai and Jogo, Johnny Johnny, Johnny Hetz, uh, Sean Bergen. Guys who, when they left this country, they shook the music scene in London and Europe. Juke Makasi, he was a protege of, of Nick Moyake. I'm mentioning all these names to say we just don't come out of the sky. <laughs> it yeah. just fell in yeah. here, you know, because there's this long line of great players. I think from Bani, Mangungu, uh, Juke, and then, then they started taking, you know, the music to, you know, the highest level because those brothers could stand their ground just about anywhere in the world.